guys, EVP Man here, and today we're gonna to take a look at an electric scooter. This one's brought to us by Tian Run. Let's go ahead and check it out. So guys, it's a little nippy here in Chicago, but I still wanted to review this scooter because there's two things about it that make it very attractive. First, its price, and second, the construction. It's just under $280 and it's made out of carbon fiber, making this the most portable scooter that we reviewed on the channel. Carbon fiber means lightweight. This scooter is literally 16 pounds, making it super transportable. It means that you could go from the bus to just using it or the train and start using it in your commute, however you use it to shorten your commute in the college campus or on the way to the office. Uh, the scooter also has five inch wheels that are solid, so you have no air to worry about and no flats to care about. So this is gonna make it really easy for you to use the scooter and commute. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. The scooter's distance or range is up to 15 miles and that's gonna be based on your body weight. Now in my case, I'm 180 pounds and this scooter was traveling at its max speed of 15 miles per hour without a problem. But that range is gonna vary in that speed based on your body weight, which by the way, this can support up to 265 pounds of weight. Now, the scooter itself does have a kickstand that's gonna allow you to um, stand it up and not worry about it falling. And it also has a very convenient closing mechanism. So if I push this button right here, it will come down and fold easily. That's all it takes. And to take it up, push the button again, and you're ready to go. Now the scooter itself is, again, 100% carbon fiber, obviously with the uh, certain areas that are gonna be uh, regular metal, but it does have a little marker on the back, not LED base, but it has a reflective, so if you do see a car coming behind you, they're gonna see you with this reflector. In the front, it does have this LED, and I'm gonna power this up for a second so we can see how that looks. As soon as you push the button, you can see it's very bright. It's so bright that in some cases where when I'm on the bike path, people think that there's a, a motorcycle or a car out there. But it's, uh, again, very convenient, and it lights your way really easily. Now, it does have a throttle and a brake mechanism as well as this LCD here that's going to give you your distance, your modes, which by the way, you have three modes, one, two, and three, and each one changes the speed of the scooter. So if you wanna be able to travel at a higher speed, you go to th mode three. If you want more distance, you do a do two or one, but the scooter's gonna go much slower. Now the battery for the scooter is found here, and this is where the majority of the weight is, as well as the motor is right here in front as well. Here you have this little charging port that allows you to charge your scooter, and what I find is that it can charge in anywhere from three and a half, four, maybe to five hours, depending on how much the battery's been depleted. So if you do use this to get to the office or college campus, or just to scoot around, um, I would recommend that you carry the battery charger with you because it's really convenient and easy to just plug it in the office and get it charged. Now the last thing about this scooter is that it is IP55 certified, which means you don't have to worry about, you know, just light uh, water. You don't want to go in a torrential rain in any way with the scooter, but if you do see a puddle, you really don't have to worry about it. Now. This area right here, again, you can see the carbon fiber treatment continues here, has a skid, uh, I would say a skid proof uh, surface, very similar to what you would find on a uh, skateboard that has kind of like that sandpaper material. Uh, you can see that I was using this actually, there was a, a muddy area that I went through, so it's a little bit dirty right now, but you have, this is something that you can wipe off obviously, uh, but it's also going to keep your feet secure and you won't fall off. Alright guys, so now let's go ahead and take this scooter for a ride. So guys, that concludes our review of the Tie and Run electric scooter. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.